time it is and so I, I was just doing a little research and I discovered that not this year but next year uh, in, in May 31st and uh, to Ju uh, June 1st it will is going to be the hundred year anniversary of the uh, Tulsa Tulsa Oklahoma uh, race riot massacre as a massacre and uh, that was the uh, destruction of the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start this first little section. And I'm going to do you know, uh, this article here. However, this article is so long, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to finish it today. I'm just going to give you basic preliminaries here for Black History Month. And uh, then I'm going to come back on the uh, 31st, 31st of May. And I'm going to do the uh, 99, 99th year anniversary of the Tulsa Tulsa race uh, race massacre, uh, and uh, so you know I'm not I'm going to give you all all the most of the information today, but I'm not going to read you the whole story because it's going to take me at least a half hour to read this whole article. And I'm going to send put a link at the uh, on the page. So you can go check it out at uh, Wikipedia, I'm a, and I'll, I'll send you that. And uh, so, okay, here we go. Here. All right. So, getting started with the uh, Tulsa uh, race massacre, also known as the Tulsa uh, Tulsa uh, race riot, the Greenwood massacre, or the Black Wall Street ma massacre of 1921 took place on May 31st and uh, June 1st, 1921, when mobs of white residents attacked black residents at businesses of the Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It has been called the single worst incident of racial violence in American history. The attack carried out on the ground and from a private aircraft destroyed more than 35 square blocks of the district. At the time, the wealthiest black community in the, in the United States, known as the Black Wall Street. More than 800 people were admitted to hospitals, and more than 6,000 6, black residents were arrested and detained, many for several days. The Oklahoma Bureau of Vital Statistics officially recorded 36 dead, but the American Red Cross declined to provide an estimate. A 2001 State Commission examination of events noted estimations from between 36 and 300 killed in the rioting, and based on contemporary autopsy reports and death certificates, the commission confirmed 39 black males, 13 white males, and four unidentifiable bodies. The riot began over Memorial Day weekend after 19-year-old Dick Rowland, a black shoe shiner, was accused of assaulting Sarah Page, a 17-year-old white elevator operator of the nearby Drexel building. He was taken into custody. A subsequent gathering of ang angry local whites outside the courthouse where Roland was being held and the spread of rumors he had, uh, he had been lynched along the local black population, some of whom arrived at the count courthouse armed. Shots were fired and 12 people were killed, 10 white and 2 black. As the news of the death spread throughout the city, mob violence exploded. White rioters rampaged through the black neighborhood that night and morning killing men and burning and looting stores and homes. And only around noon the next day, the Oklahoma National Guard troops managed to get control of the situation by declaring martial law. About 10,000 black people were left homeless and property damage amounted to be more than 1.5 million in real estate and 750,000 personal property, equivalent to 32.25 million in 2020. Many survivors left Tulsa. Black and white residents who stayed in the city were silent for decades about the terror, violence, and losses of this, this event. The riot was largely omitted from local, state, and national histories. The Tulsa riot of 1921 was rarely mentioned in history books, Classrooms 
or even in private, blacks and whites alike grew into middle age unaware of what had taken place. In 1996, 75 years after the riot, a bipartisan group in the state legislature authorized formation of the Oklahoma Commission to study the Tulsa riot of 1921, renamed Oklahoma Commission to the study of Tulsa race massacre in uh, 2018. Members, first they, they, uh, they, they titled it the Tulsa race riot of 21, and then they eventually changed the name to the uh, Tulsa race massacre. Members were appointed to investigate events, interview survivors, hear testimony from, pu from the public, and prepare a report of events. There was an effort toward public education about these events through the process. The commission's final report, published in 2001, said that the city had conspired with the mob of white citizens against black citizens. It recommended a program of reparations to survivors and their descendants. The state passed legislation to establish some scholarships for descendants of survivors, encourage economic development of Greenwood, and develop a memorial park in Tulsa uh, for the riot victims. The park was dedicated in 2010. So that's just the basic outline. But the story itself, like I said, the story itself is, is so long, it's going to take me a long time to basically uh, do this whole story. But I'm going to do the whole story in May. I'm going to do the whole story. I'm gonna, let me uh, move around a little bit here. And... Uh, so give you a little more information about what happened and uh so it says a standoff standoff at the courthouse uh said so uh, let's see said the afternoon edition of the a tribune hit the street shortly after 3 p.m and soon news spread of a potential lynching by 4 p.m local authorities were on alert white residents began congregating at and near the Tulsa County Courthouse by sunset uh, at 7.34 p.m., the several hundred white residents assembled outside the courthouse appeared to have the makings of a lynch mob. Newly elected sheriff of Tulsa County was determined to avoid such events as the 1920 lynching of a, of a white murder suspect, uh, Roy Belton, in Tulsa, which had occurred during the term of his predecessor. The sheriff took steps to ensure the safety of, of Roland, who had been arrested for the alleged incident with the uh, white girl. McCulloch, the uh, sheriff, organized his deputies into a defensive formation ar around Roland, who was terrified. W uh, one of Scott Ellsworth's references in the 2001 commission report, the Guthrie Daily Reader reported that Roland had been taken to the courthouse and the uh, county jail before the crowd started to gather. The sheriff positioned six of his men armed with rifles and shotguns on the roof of the courthouse. Uh, he disabled the building's elevator and had the remaining men barricade themselves at the top of the stairs with orders to shoot any intruders on sight. The sheriff went outside to try to talk the crowd into going home, but to no avail. According to the account by Scott Ellsworth, the sheriff was uh, hooted down. In other words, he, they they talked him down. They were They were pretty much hollering and screaming and yelling at the at the uh at the sheriff about 8 20 p.m three white men entered the courthouse demanding that roland be turned over to them although vastly outnumbered by the crowd on the street the sheriff mccullough turned the men away so the story's deep it's pretty deep and i you know a lot of young people don't even know about about tulsa oklahoma and that's the reason why i, I do this show is to like educate people and 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 you know this 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 is history, you know it's it's all, all of course it's been almost a hundred years. It's been it'll be ninety nine years in a couple of months, uh, and uh, but see you have to know the history of a lot of these things. You have to know the history in order to keep things like this from happening again. And, and at this point in this country, we do have a environment that's ripe uh, with hatred at this point. And uh, you can definitely thank the uh, D.C. Dunce that they refused to uh, impeach last week uh, for 
this outrage, this outrage that's going on in this country, and people are trying to take this country back to the bad old days of the uh, Jim Crow era. Little by little, they're chipping away at your rights, and so you got to really understand that this is an all-out uh, system, systematic, systematic attack on the on the rights of people here in the United States, specifically people of color, whether that be black, Hispanic, uh, Muslim, India, people from India, because there have been a few people from India that have been killed, and people made the assumption that they were Muslims, but they weren't. So it's a lot of bad stuff going on here, and it's better to be aware of it than to be unaware, and then that way at least you'll, you'll have be able to uh, defend yourself. KB's video news. That's right, folks. I'm going to finish this story but in May. Come KB's back. Video news. Don't forget to... Don't forget to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and, you know, bring your friends, bring your friends, sh share, share my page with your friends and your family members and uh, your co-workers or anybody else you think that might like to hear this type of news. And like I said, I still got this contest going on where you can win the uh, KP Video Cup, KP Video News Cup, and that'll be something that I'll be sending to you free. All you have to do is, is have as many people as you possibly can subscribe to my page and have them mention your name in a uh, comment, and then I'll tally up the names and, uh, you know, go that go from there. Okay, peace.